Miss Kelly, the doctor will see you now. Uh, can you let the doctor know that I'll be with him shortly? <laughs> hmm? I am getting a lot of work done. Your Wi-Fi is very fast. But he's ready for you now. I'll be with him as soon as I can. You ready? Not yet, but you're next. <laughs> the patient will see you now. It's a big flip. It's the greatest inversion in the history of medicine. And it's happening at many levels. Geisinger Health System in Danville, Pennsylvania is offering refunds through a mobile app if people are unhappy with their care. Who ever heard of that in healthcare? I don't think there's too many other health systems represented here that are giving refunds. And actually, most people don't ask for it when they're unhappy because they just feel it's so great that they have the offer. Really remarkable. Uh, satisfied with your money back. Not too many hospitals do that. That's a big change. What about this whole patient-centered medicine? The population healthcare, that, by the way, that term drives me crazy. We don't want to do stuff at the population level. We want to do it at the individual person level. And this term was invented in 1969, and we haven't yet come close to rendering patient-centered care. Because that means giving patients the responsibility to be at the center of their care. And doctors, and the medical community is unwilling to do that. We have all this telemedicine that instead of 2.6 weeks, you can do doctor contact in 2.6 seconds through your smartphone. And if you looked at the Wall Street Journal today, I don't know how many of you had a chance to see that. This is the teaser on the front page. The virtual doctor is in. This is the article, how telemedicine is transforming healthcare, basically saying the telemedicine revolution has finally arrived, and it has. The fact is that most employers, insurers are covering this, health systems are using this, academic health systems as well. This is really heading to prime time. But that's not the whole story. That's just part of the story. Do you know what this acronym stands for? Nobody? Someone? No? I want what I want when I want it. That's on demand medicine, and telemedicine is a part of that story. But it's not just telemedicine, it's the ability to have a doctor come to your house. And this whole Uber medicine is remarkable. Here is in California the return of the house call. And 70% of the people using this app would have gone to an emergency room. But this is covered because it's basically a visit. It's the same uh, uh, reimbursement as, as a visit that would be in the doctor's office, but it's occurring in the home. And it's a very rel relatively small uh, copay. And this is getting increasingly popular in many parts of the United States. 